Right, as promised, this is the second part of the 2015 Mid-Ohio H1 barn find, um, courtesy of Rick Brett, or RB, who is me. Uh, actually, my friend Kenny found it, but uh, I ended up buying it because he thought it was a bit too pricey. At the time, the engine was locked up, but we got it running. Um, it's been quite an amazing story. But let me point out some unusual things about this bike. Um, as I said, all original, 5,600 miles. Um, this is quite unusual. The, uh, the, the tachometer braking decal is still in place. And if you look, it's down here. Uh, that's the correct place to fitting it. I've seen some people put it up here between the lights, which is, which is totally incorrect. Moving on to the handlebars, as suspected and as I've known for some time, the uh, the very early 69 handlebar bolts are a 14mm spanner size, not 30mm like every other triple. Uh, offset brackets on the on the clutch lever and also on the brake lever. As you can see the uh, the pinch bolt at an angle. This is for the H1, H170, and H1A. They often snap. They're actually a very expensive item to buy second hand. A um, little bit of red paint still showing there on the S for the start lever on the choke lever. The grips, as you see, are the original ones. They generally say made in Japan on the end. Can't quite see it there, can we? Nope, probably worn out. This is unusual. Original 69 mirror. Um, Quite an acute angle here, as you see, but also with the very, very rare, I can't even see it, the sun's too bright, I hope you can see it, um, the Kawasaki flag on the bottom. Moving across the original mounting brackets, as you look, there's actually a little pinch mark here in the bracket, and the bracket's got a bit of a taper on it as well, or the clamp, should I say. Moving down to the meters, Again, the cross hatching on the speedometer cable and on the taco cable is unique to the 69 and very, very early 70 models. Nothing too unusual about the front end. I actually cleaned this fork leg up with some uh, wet and dry sandpaper at Mid Ohio. It just shows you how easily you could fool somebody into thinking how nice a bike really is when it actually isn't. An hour with some wire on this bike would be a million dollars. Again, with this fork leg there, not cleaned. This one I started to clean at Mid Ohio. Um, actually, on that note, this bike's frame number is 898, I think. Yeah, 898. Um, I'm going to have to check that now. <laughs> yeah, 890. Oh. Oh no, 828. Sorry about that, 828. I think I said in the original video it was 829. Yep, 828 frame number, engine number, 836. Obviously a matching pair from the factory. Um, don't know what the gas tanks are like, because I'm not strong enough to open it with one hand. Um, so moving across, this bike is reasonably early. The early prototype bikes the very first H1s had the drum brake on the opposite side. Uh, the, bar, the brakes themselves were stolen off the A1s and A7s. Um, and basically anything you find like that is a prototype model. Moving down, um, no pure gas oil only sticker on the, on the fuel tank. The red sticker that normally sits up there. Sometimes it sits just here, that's just how they work at the factory. But all, generally it sits there. And there isn't one on this bike. What there is though, however, is this, which is the oil tank sticker. Um, fill the oil tank with the approved two-stroke engine oil. Personally, I've only ever seen it in this position. I know some bikes recently, I've seen them fitted here in the middle for some bizarre reason, I don't know why. Um, my other bike, or one of my other bikes, 424, doesn't have this sticker. So we can say sometime in between frame number 400 and 800, this sticker was introduced. Interesting things, low oil pump cover, the late, these were recalled, factory recalled, and the later oil pump covers come up here. These HT wires run under the coil, which is a bit of a nightmare because if there's a bit of a shorting of anything electrical under there and a petrol leak, the bike will go up in flames. 
Um, kick start, the uh, fixing bolt is also the pivot bolt. Very prone to breaking, quite an unusual item. And this is unusual as well, it's, 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 it's genuine. Um, the pivot, the uh, pivot bolt there is, is a flat face bolt or clevis pin. Um, very many times I see it and somebody's probably don't want in there. Moving to the back, you'll see, you can't see very well, but the actual foot pegs are painted black on this model. Just here where the rubber fits on is black. Moving around to the back, this changed mid 70. If you look just here, the brake plate vent is square. All the corners are square on that one and on that one, if you can see it, they're squared off. On the later models, the 70 models and the 71 models onwards, those corners where the screws fit in are rounded. Moving up to the handrail, um, no hole for the reflector bracket. And that was introduced on the H1B. This bike hasn't been on the road since 1974. No hole behind the plate or down here. There's no more holes on, on the rear fender. Under the fender, the typical countersunk four bolts here. Countersunk heads rather. Um, screws here, obviously. Dome heads on the on the pivot pins. This is one I've not seen before. This is a Kawasaki Safety Service decal. Never seen that one before in my life after all these years. Um, CDI boxes don't have the fluid elite plate on them. The early boxes, people tended to put the wet gloves on them, and while they were riding along, the gloves would make the boxes overheat and, and trash them basically. So what Kawasaki did was they um, made an aftermarket plate that fitted over here, clipped on here, bolted on here with a with a fluid -E logo. Talking this bolt here, that bolt there is a 14mm head on this bike. Um, I don't know if you can work out the height of the tank bracket or not. But so that's a 14mm head. Later it became a 13mm head. Moving round. Nothing too spectacular on this side. Actually, there is one thing I'll show you in a second. Um, yeah, this is usual. The clevis pins on the pivot linkage, the heads are inwards. That's usual for this bike. The thread sticking out at a mount on the um, pivot shaft bolt, that is also, the swing arm bolt, that is also common. It normally sticks out about at least six threads. This decal, or sorry, the badge, the emblem on the side is white and red. It's only on the 70 model and the reproduction ones it changed to, I think, black and red. Um, as you can see, this guy obviously lost his side panel sometimes because there's some serious skid marks all the way down here. But underneath the panel is one little gem. In fact, one very wonderful gem. Ooh, come on, you bugger. A genuine toolkit. Now this genuine toolkit, as I already knew, is held together with blue string. I'm going to try and get it all out, which working the camera is a little bit tricky, but we'll try. Um, <laughs> never been used, I've already undone it once, I got so excited. Um, some wonderful items in here. Let me get them all out for you. not seen that before it's stamped 17 there and it's stamped 21 there how wonderful Ooh, it's like brand new these tools haven't seen the light today in 41 years at least I opened the bag the other day and just pulled the screwdriver out but what else have we got um, ring spanner 32 32 unmarked spanner 19 and 21 unmarked spanner 17 and 14 wonderful pair of um, pliers that actually do have the Kawasaki logo on which is great a lot of them don't and I wasn't sure when they changed another unmarked spanner 10 and 12 mil and this one should be oh and a, another spanner which has got blue on it and I've got newer stock not newer stock tools that also have this blue gel on them 
but the 10mm spanner I've always found has got the emblem on it. Another Phillips screwdriver, and what I didn't know was in here, and I'm very excited about, the spare key, the original spare key. <laughs> That's made my day. I um, The keys that are in the bike are aftermarket ones here. Um, so finding that, finding that key has made me a very happy camper today. Very, very happy. One final thing before I go. Um, the screwdriver comes complete with the Kawasaki emblem embossed in it. Hope you've learned something. Thanks.